Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am doing a everyday makeup look. It's kind of, you know, in times of Valentine's, take it how you wish. Um, it's just very subtle, very natural and very easy. So, do I have anything else to say? I don't think I do. Also, I apologise for the quality of the film right now because I am using my phone but throughout the video I am using my camera just so yes let's get straight into the video but before i do i need to talk about a little something that a guy a uh, guy that a brand have kindly gifted to me so so a brand from america reached out to me and asked if i wanted to try out some of their hair extensions and i obviously i have really long hair so i got back to them and was like i'm really thankful for you reaching out to me um i love your products but I have long hair and I feel like adding length to my hair is not what I need. So they then came back to me and asked if I would like to try any of their tools. Um, so they sent me across two options which I could try which were hair straighteners or a hair dryer. Um, I never dry my hair with a hair dryer so I thought I'm not going to accept one if I don't think I'll ever use it and I won't be able to promote it in the best possible way. So I kindly and gratefully accepted the hair straighteners. My current hair straighteners that I used to use were Tresemme ones and I've had them honestly a good eight years. They've never failed me, they've done me all right, but these are, they have something else. So, as they are a brand from America, you will need a adapter, which I bought two on Amazon for like six pounds, and they came the next day. So, it's really not a big problem. This is the box, upside down, of the hair straighteners that they came in. So these are the Black Diamond Professional Hair Straighteners. Um, these are 75 pounds, but I do have a discount code for you guys. So down in the description below, there's a link down to the website and you also check out, have to enter get 20 off. Obviously that means you get 20% off, which means you're saving 15 pounds. So these straighteners only cost you 60 pounds, which is an absolute bargain. I had no customs charge on this, so I don't expect you will either. But um, honestly, let me get you these straighteners. They are stunning. If I keep them in the like a little mat, so I don't ruin my carpet or anything, but this is what they look like. It has the brand's logo just on here. I'm not going to touch them too much because I literally just finished using them. Um, but yeah, it's up here. And then you turn them on with these little buttons here. So you turn it on and then it immediately starts heating up um, to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is too hot for my hair. Like I don't want to use that on my hair. I think that heat is mainly for if you have really dense curly hair so there's little arrows which you can decrease the temperature so i normally do it to about 30 30 normally about 300 degrees fahrenheit which equates to about 150 degrees celsius so it's a lot better for your hair obviously you're not doing it on such a high heat and it also means if you're curling your hair and say i get stuck sometimes with like curling if i get stuck it's not gonna burn my hair as much as it would on a higher degree like it doesn't steam up it doesn't make sense like smoke so i love the fact that you can change the heat because on my other ones it was literally a dial where it was like three lines two lines and one line where i didn't know what temperature they were so i just went to the hottest and my hair would always like smoke up so definitely had that too high but this i love the fact that you can control the temperature to whatever you want it on um the lowest i've never actually gone the lowest is 190 degrees Fahrenheit so if you have really fine hair then it's great for that too what do I think of the product well I absolutely love it so it creates the nicest tightest curls and they drop out really easily and nicely and I just I'm just a bit obsessed I've curled my hair two days in a row now there's one bit of hair at the front of my head just won't cooperate with me today so we're just gonna ignore her she can be tucked behind here but I find this so easy to use and it just glides through my hair. Um, you will see in the video a demonstration of this pretty much because I have time lapsed the whole of my curling hair. 
but yeah they're so easy to use my hair doesn't really get tangled in them like they did with my other ones um and honestly i don't i just they're so sleek and just i just find my hair doesn't grip to them just run straight through it's great also another thing i love about this hair straightener is the plates on them they're actually rose gold um i love that i just think it's so cute how they've done it how like all the little um rose gold detailing is so pretty and i just love i love the fact it has a little led screen i just think it's really clever and i'm actually really impressed because i've used ghds before and they never work with my hair so i was really apprehensive to use these because i was always in trust like trusted my old hair straighteners but honestly these are coming everywhere with me and it's great because it has an american like plug i go to my mom like once a year if i can't make it then once every other year and I don't, I'm really taking it up with that. Brilliant. So I'm just reading a little bit of the notes they sent me. Um, and I'm obviously going to relay this information to you because it is very good information to know. So these rose gold plates actually increase durability and heat transfer um, rather than just the normal plates that you get. So that's definitely a bonus. I'm just baffled how you can get these for £60. So it actually has a ionic i think i'm pronouncing that right generator and ion boost which amplifies the negative ions wait it amplifies the effect of negative ion conditioning so what that means is it seals your hair cuticles and also boosts shine but it doesn't affect any color of your hair so i think that's amazing i think it comes from you see how this is like in the middle i think it <laughs> i think that's where it comes from which is so clever so yes now i've spoken a lot and i honestly i couldn't recommend this product enough to you guys um i would never ever recommend something if i didn't think it would work but honestly like look at look at them look at them curls but yes i will let you get on and watch the video and in the video obviously you'll see how this works so you guys i hope you enjoy the video and i will see you next time I'm going to start off with the foundation. Um, this is my go to foundation. It's the Revlon Colour Stay in 150 Buff. Um, and it's a combination to oily skin because that is what I have. Oh, I haven't primed. I'll get over it. I, I don't know why. At the minute, I always blend my foundation in with a brush and then go back over it where I need to with a beauty blender. Don't ask me why. It's just what i've been doing ah, don't scratch so this is the morphe m439 brush um will you stop scratching that go on the bed <laughs> so i'm just going to go in with the real technique sponge to blend in the little bit of extra foundation in the place that it needs and then also use this for concealer and all of that fun stuff So next I'm going to go in with concealer which is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer in fact because I'm a pale beach. I've tried to take ugh, as much foundation off my lips as I can. So next I'm going to powder my face and i've recently well not recently i've always been using the stay matte rimmel powder this is in shade silky beige number five i thought i bought transparent but clearly i didn't um so it is kind of a little orange on me but it's fine it is what it is wow you would think it's so much later than it is right now because of how horrible weather is it's only half ten in the morning right and for this so i do my powder a really weird way i don't know why um, I first go in with the Morphe M173 brush and I powder the under eyes, the eyelids, my nose, around my nose, my chin, my top lip and whatever, and a bit of my forehead. And then I blend the rest with a fluffier brush, which is the Morphe 527 brush. I, and just powder the rest of my face. I don't know why I do it like this, but I guess it works. I think it's from where I'm most oily that's why i like to pack the powder on see i think that's why i do it i'm not really sure it just happened one day and we've done it ever since <laughs> i 
the camera's definitely going to be in a different place so apologies for that but my camera ran out of memory and also the battery was literally almost dead so i can't to do it um so i'm just going to finish off where we were really just powdering Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer contour, whatever you wanna call it. I don't do like two, I literally just do one. Um, but it's the Too Faced Bronze Peach Melting Powder Bronzer Infused with Peach Sweet Fig Green, apparently. Peach Fruit Green, what, fun? It's supposed to smell like peaches, but it definitely doesn't. Mm. I got this in America though, so I'm not entirely sure if you can get it in the UK, but I got it from their TJ Maxx, which is our TK Maxx, so I don't know just a little fyi yes i'm gonna go in with the morphe e4 brush which is this one here i need to see if my brushes are very very thoroughly clean that's for sure okay so next i'm gonna go in with blush and for blush i'm using my anastasia um blush trio again i got this in american tj maxx so i'm not sure if you can get it in the uk sorry um but i use this shade here which is the neck tree and i also use the morphe m405 brush so for eyeshadow i'm just gonna go really simple and subtle because i don't really like to do a big eyelet because eyeshadow is not my forte so we are not gonna get into that um but i'm using this morphe trio palette which um, I'm not sure if it has like a separate name. Oh, the Pure Nude 3B palette. Um, and it looks like this. It has kind of natural velvet and deep hue. Um, I'm going to use velvet in the middle because it's like a pinky brown shade. And I think, you know, Valentine's look perfect for Valentine's. So that's um, my train of thought. Um, I'm going to use the Morphe 433 brush. So I'm just going to apply this in the crease. <laughs> nice and simple. Not anything too crazy because, like I said, eyeshadow. Not for me. And that is as simple, subtle as we're going. Sometimes I put like a pop of colour in the corner of my eye, like a yellow or a pink. Um, and then sometimes I'll just put like a bit of glitter in this like, corner of my eye, like a shimmery shade. But I'm just going to leave it nice and simple today it's crazy like what a bit of color on your eyes can do my eyebrows i don't actually do anything to my eyebrows anymore um they used to be really tragic now i literally just put an eyebrow gel on my eyebrows um this is just clear but it's kind of been tinted from when i've like used eyebrow products before um i use this one sometimes if i'm going on my out i'll use my tart tape tape Ooh this tart tinted brows um i'm not entirely sure i think it's yeah medium brown um busy gal brows so it's a bit too dark but that's why i just use it for nights out yes for now clear my eyebrow gel just to hold them in place so next i'm gonna put on some mascara so i don't look like i have bold eyes like bold as in like no hair so yeah i'm gonna go in with the Too faced better than sex and diamonds one this was a limited edition one which i also got in america just literally has like little diamantes on it doesn't want to focus but you can see so yeah it's cute and i don't think i'll get rid of the bottle when it's finished either so not that you need to know that but now you do I've got trafford's fur everywhere oh no my jeans are doing that thing What's only, girls, that, mate? only girls actually you've had it you know when your like thighs are too fat and then they rub the material to like rip yeah. Yeah, it's doing that. Oh dear. Rest in peace, my jeans. Yeah, big fighting. Yeah, thunder fires, problems. I have like three pairs of black jeans though, so I'm not really offended. That's better. I'm gonna do my lips last because that needs to be sorted out. So I'm gonna curl my hair today with the straighteners because honestly, it takes literally like seconds. Oh, I've had my hair in like a weird bun all night, so it probably needs a quick straighten before I curl it, which is fine. I'm just gonna like separate my hair into a middle parting. I'm not sure if you guys have seen I've dyed my hair brown yet. I'm not sure if I've uploaded that video. I, I know I haven't when I'm filming this, but I mean like when this is up. Have I done it yet? Not sure. 
don't think I have actually. So yeah, I'm using my Tangle Teaser and I'm just gonna brush through my hair, which should take out majority of the waves and kinks and whatever. My hair looks like two different colours on the camera, but it's it's definitely not. Just gonna put that out there. Okay, battery died. Back again. So I've got the straighteners on 300 degrees Fahrenheit because like I said, they are American, so it's all done in Fahrenheit. Cute. And then I just let them drop by themselves. See, I'm gonna do that throughout my whole head, but I'm gonna speed it up because you don't wanna see that for half an hour, however long it'll take. Right, so this is one half of my head done. It took about 20 minutes and literally love it. Obviously, it's really tight at the minute and we will loosen them, but we're going to leave them in tight just while they all cool down and stuff. They're not boiling because this isn't very hot. Right, this is on a really bad angle, but all the batteries for the cameras are dead. So we're just going to have to do with my phone call today. This is the curls. They will drop and I will also um, make them drop. But this piece at the front of my head isn't curling and that's really annoying me. Yeah. Right, so I just need to put highlighter on and some lip product. I don't really want to put much on my lips because it's just going straight up for me too. So I'm using the Smashbox and Vlad, I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not really sure, but that's what it says. I got this at the cosmetics company when we were in Edinburgh. Um, so it looked great, so I picked it up. Um, so I'm going to use the LA Girl Ultimate um, intense Ink Auto Liner in Nonstop Nude um, and the NYX Soft Matte Cream in Abby Dabby. Right, that is the makeup done. To set my face, I'm going to use a Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go Priming and Setting Spray 2 in 1. Don't know if they work, but it smells good. So. That is the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye, guys.